All right, if you've been following along, we just set up our first extension. And now we're going to finally add the Google Voice account in our Asterisk server. So what you do is you go to Connectivity, Google Voice Motif. You choose that. Then right here, you're going to enter your Google Voice username. As, and it says right here, they will add the at gmail.com. So just add your Google Voice login. Put your password in there. And then your Google Voice phone number. So in this example, we're just going to do 763-555-1010. You would put your actual phone number there. So, uh, 10 digits, no dashes, no ones, nothing like that, just your 10 digit. Um, select add trunk. That's going to automatically add the trunk. Um, add outbound runs automatically and then select your, as long as you're using um, Google Voicemail, which I recommend, check that last box there. All three boxes are checked. That's it. Hit submit. And now, as you can see, we have a new account here on the right. And also, if you go up to connectivity, inbound routes, you're going to see, I mean, outbound routes, rather, you're going to see your information right here. So let's start with Google Voice Motif. So go ahead and click that on the right. Now, if everything's set up, it's going to say you're connected and it's green there. If it's red and it says disconnected, um, either you put in your wrong password or somebody else somewhere is in your Google account or something. And um, if you want to make sure that's fixed, either change your Google password or something or get it straightened out somehow, that should say connected there all the time. That means your asterisk server is communicating with your Google account. Now, that's confirmed. Go to your uh, connectivity here on the top and outbound routes. We're going to set those up. Outbound is for your um, calls that go out. Now we're going to leave the route name default. We're not going to put anything in CAD, not going to put anything in password. Um, I don't record. If you want to leave that default, fine. I've set never. Now these dial patterns, I really don't feel like explaining this kind of crap. It's just a big stupid mess. Um, it's the way you dial on your phone and the and what route it goes and, and all that stuff. Um, the, the default options are these. It has a one per pen here with the dialing pattern here. If you want to do your own research on this, I'm just going to tell you the answer. I'm just going to give you the answer right now. So by default, you've got two. You can keep adding more. You can keep adding more and more fields. Well, we don't need that many. We only need three. So we got the first two here. I'm going to actually copy the first one, paste it into the third one. And then all the way to the left here, we're going to add a plus. So those are the three we're going to have. Now, the one important thing we have to do here is we've got to enter our caller ID number here. Uh, if you're just going to use one extension or one phone on your asterisk server, you can leave these empty and you'll be fine. But if you're going to use two phones, like you and your girlfriend, for example, and she has a separate Google Voice account, for example, you're going to want to enter the caller ID number here for each account on your outbound routes. So for the first extension, the 201, that's going to be my main phone. I'm going to enter the phone number here, 763, right? 555-1010. And then we're going to put that in all three fields, OK? That's important. Now, default, it's going to choose the right phone number. We're going to leave that alone. And we're going to hit Submit Changes and then Apply. All right, next we're going to go to Inbound Routes. And the only thing we're going to do here is we're going to enter the DID number. That is the actual phone number, 763-555-1010. So that's going to be your Google Voice number, 10 digits. That's it, nothing else. Scroll down. You're not going to enter anything in description or anything else, by the way. Scroll down. Go down to CID Superfecta. That's caller ID. You're going to enable that. Now, here's the destination. You're going to select the destination as your phone, your cell phone. And that's going to be that extension we set up. So you select extensions right there. And there's only one to choose. Well, there's two to choose from. But we're going to choose the first one, 201. And hit Submit. That's where it's going to go. Apply. Now, after we set the inbound, outbound, and the motif up, we uh, have to restart the server. There's no way in any of these options up here in the free PBX in the web administration to reset the server. We have to actually go back, log into our other computer, and we can reset from here. But 
that's kind of a pain because what if you don't want to always log in your computer or get up and move to where, physically where the computer is? Well, there's actually a, a really nice way to be able to connect to your server from another computer. So that's um, using another program called Putty. So you can go to Google and just type in Putty, and it's the first one here. Um, you want the putty.exe right here. Just download that, open it up, and you'll get this on your computer. It's a nice little, um, it's, it's pretty old, but it's fine. It works really good. So um, we're going to enter the IP address of the server computer. It was the 192.168.1.125. Um, and because we're going to be connecting to this a lot this, using this method, I'm going to save it as you know, the PBX02, and we're going to push save. All right, And it's going to show up is right here. So we're just going to double click it then. And actually, um, I'm getting this security alert. Just hit yes. Now, here's the window, and in, it wants me to log in. This is going to be your root login, same as before. Root, and then the password. If you make a mistake and you type it, the password in wrong three times, you have to actually go back physically to the computer, and you have to remove the ban yourself. That's a whole other explanation. I won't explain it here, but you have to basically unban yourself. It doesn't matter if you're on the LAN, if you're on the network, it'll ban you automatically. It's, uh, it's a service running in the background of the computer all the time called fail to ban. And I'm not sure it shows. Yeah, it's right here. Fail to ban. Now, now you don't want to ban yourself on accident. If you do, um, I'll, I'll uh, tell you later how to do that, how to unban yourself. All right. So once we're logged in, the command is um, pretty easy. Try to memorize it because uh, you actually use it a lot. It's am portal space restart. Sometimes it's slow um, with Google Voice right now. It might be a bug or something. Sometimes it takes quite a while to stop. And um, it, it might be this current version. I might have to update something. We'll have to look into it. In fact, uh, if in your PBX administration, if you go to settings, or reports, free PBX system status. Um, I actually remember seeing updates here. That, that's going to be mentioned later, but I think there might be an update that fixes that issue because I think it's a known issue. You can find it in admin, module admin. And check online. Th these are updates that you can do. So yeah, it's still trying to stop. So that's just a, an error I'm getting with um, the server right now. If it doesn't end up stopping, you can type in AM portal stop and um, try to get it to stop faster. And then it would be AM portal start to start it back up. So I'll wait for that to stop and then I'll come back.